Hi there. This is a video about triangle classification theorems. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to classify triangles by their side lengths. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at three options. We're going to look at acute triangles. We're going to look at right triangles. And we're going to look at obtuse triangles. Now these angle or these triangles are classified by their angle measures, where an acute ang triangle has all of their angles are acute angles. In a right triangle, one of those angles is a right angle, and in an obtuse triangle, one angle is obtuse. Now, I, I've uh, gone ahead and drawn in an acute triangle, a right triangle, and an obtuse triangle, and I'm going to label their side lengths. Now, when I label these, I'm going to start with a right triangle. I label my smallest sides A and B, and I label my longest side, my hypotenuse, C. Okay, so I have that, all right? Um, I'm going to do the same thing for my acute and obtuse triangles. Uh, my smaller two sides are A and B, and then my longest side is C. Uh, over here, A, B, and then my longest side is C. Now, um, I can classify a right triangle um, using the Pythagorean theorem, okay? And the Pythagorean theorem states that if I take my legs of my right triangle, A and B, and I square them and add them together, so A squared plus B squared is then going to equal C squared, okay? And when, when, these, when this relationship happens, I have a right triangle, okay? Now, I have an acute triangle when I have a similar uh, relationship, but I'm going to write out that a squared plus b squared and c squared. Now, I have an acute triangle if the sum of the squares of my two smaller sides is larger than the square of my longest side, okay? And then the same thing goes, similar thing goes with an obtuse triangle. So I have this, I have a squared plus b squared is less than c squared, okay? And so these are the formulas that I use or that we use to classify our triangles, okay? So if we know that we have an acute triangle or we're trying to show something like that, I use this formula. If I have a right triangle, they're equal. And then um, the obtuse triangle means that the longest side squared is going to be larger than the sum of the two squares here. Let's look at a practice problem. So if I take a triangle like this, um, that I have the lengths 3, 7, and 8, what we're trying to figure out is what kind of triangle is this? And we don't really know, and we can't tell because we don't have any angle measures, and we're trying to figure out whether or not this is an acute, right, or obtuse triangle, okay? Therefore, what we need to do is use one of our formulas, okay? And I'm going to set up um, my side lengths here as my two small sides are A and B, and my longest side is C. Now, what we're trying to do is I want to use a squared plus b squared and c squared. The question is, is what is the relationship between these sides? Are they equal? Is one side bigger than the other? Okay, so let's plug that in and let's do some math. So if I take 3 squared plus 7 squared, what's my relationship to 8 squared? Okay, so 3 squared is going to give me 9, plus 7 squared, which is 49, and then 8 squared is 64. Again, we're trying to figure out what's, what's the relationship. Is one side bigger than the other, or are we equal? So 9 plus 49 is going to give me 58. Okay, so 58 and 64. Now, thinking about the relationship between those, what I know is that 58 is smaller than 64, or it is less than, okay? And so what I have is that 64 is bigger. So coming back up to here, let me uh, erase this first box. 
what I want to figure out is what symbol is going to go here, and then which one is that, acute, right, or obtuse. So a squared plus b squared, the sum of those two squares is going to be less than c squared. So the one that this satisfies is that this is an obtuse triangle, okay? And we can figure that out purely based on analyzing their side lengths using the Pythagorean theorem. All right, so another example would be a problem like this, where you had two sides of a triangle and you don't know what the third side is. And the question that you're being asked is what values for x would make this an acute triangle? So what I want to do is label this as um, a, b, and c, okay? And I'm going to try and figure out what values for x would make this um, be an acute triangle? So I would set up my inequality, a squared plus b squared is greater than c squared, which is my formula for a, an acute triangle. So I'm going to do 5 squared and plus 6 squared would have to be less than c squared. Okay, so at this point... Um, 5 squared is 25 plus 6 squared, which is 36, and that's going to be greater than c squared. 25 plus 36 is going to give me 61 greater than c squared. Now, to solve this, I want to take the square root of both sides, okay? And I get that the square root of 61 has to be larger than c, okay? Or I can say that c is less than the square root of 61. And if to put this into a little bit of context, um, the square root of 61 is approximately 7.81. So my value for C would have to be less than 7.81. And what this means is that any number C that is smaller than 7.81 will give me an acute triangle. Okay, so this is a range of values, and all it says is that the number, the value for C would have to be smaller than 7.81 in order for um, this to work, okay, in order for this to be an acute triangle. So I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.